everybody and welcome back to Tales of Wanderlust. I'm Cass and if you're curious how we do laundry on the road, then stay tuned. Today we are going to talk laundry. So today was not supposed to be laundry day, but unfortunately Jasper got sick in the bed this morning. I don't know if he ate something on one of our walks, but he threw up a little bit right on the duvet cover. So to get started, let's go through the five different ways that I do laundry on the road. There are other ways, such as using your own personal washer and dryer in your RV, but I don't have that option. So these are the five ways that I've used in the past. The first, the main one I use, and the most convenient for me is using a laundromat. That's what I'm gonna go through in more detail with you today, so I won't talk about that one too much right now. The second one, which I really love using, is a wash and fold service. So this is where you go to a laundromat, you drop everything off, they wash it all for you, they fold it back up, and then I just pick it up when it's done. That is really convenient and great. There was actually one RV park I was at and they offered to pick up your laundry from your campsite and deliver it at the end of the day. That was ideal. But I have paid anywhere between 30 and $75 to have my laundry done that way. So although it's extremely convenient, it is not very cheap. So if you are crunched for time, it's a great option, but if you're trying to save money, I would not suggest that one. The third way I do laundry is using a laundromat at an RV park. I don't say RV parks very often, so this one isn't very common for me, but I do tend to do a deep clean when I'm there. So I'll pull out all the laundry, wash it all, while everything is out, I will clean all the surfaces, pull the bed up, clean underneath there and really do a full deep clean. That is really convenient because you can be parked in your campsite, you can have the animals tied up outside on leashes and then take your laundry right over to the washing machines and do it all right there. The downfall of that one though is RV parks tend to have a limited number of washers. So you might find that there's only a few washers and you have to keep going back trying to find when it's available. And sometimes on the weekends, there's lines and you're really waiting and it's not the easiest to get into those machines. You will find if you're used to boondocking like I am, it gets to be pretty expensive because you're paying for the RV park for the night stay. Plus they do charge for the laundry as well. So it's an option, but it's not one that I use very often. The fourth and probably I should have done this third because it's the third most common that I do. But the fourth way to do laundry on the road is is to visit family and friends and use their washer and dryer. There really is no downfall to that. It's free and it's easy because you're parked there. You can just throw it in the wash while you're visiting. The only downfall is you're using their water. So bring them dinner. And the final way to do laundry on the road, which I do not do often at all, is to hand wash everything. I used to carry a little jar of Tide detergent. So if I needed to wash anything, I could put some water in the sink put in a little bit of Tide, and then wash the laundry right in my kitchen sink. The thing is, it's not very efficient. It uses a lot of water. So for me, who boondocks a lot and water is very precious, it used way too much for me. And then you have to hang everything out to dry, and especially if you're not in a dry climate, that can take a while to do. Also, you're not gonna be doing bulk laundry that way. It is a small sink and it takes a lot of time. So I've actually stopped carrying those small bottles of Tide detergent. I do use the Tide pods and if I really was in a pinch, I could put one of those in the sink. There would be a lot of soap, but I could do it. But it's something I've really only done maybe once or twice on the road. All in all, laundromat is my go-to choice, but there definitely are other options and other ways to do laundry on the road. I do get a question quite often to see if I would carry one of those washing machines that goes outside and then I think they're hand crank washing machines. They're pretty efficient the way they're designed but you still have to carry that big device. You have to bring water for it. You have to hang your laundry out to dry. And honestly, I don't have enough space in my small setup to justify carrying something around like that. So instead I just go to a laundromat. So back to using a laundromat, what's my process for doing laundry at a laundromat? I try to do my laundry, my propane, my dump, my grocery shopping and all of that on moving day. That way when I'm moving from one spot to the next, I can reset everything, start over. And when I get to the new boondocking spot, I don't have to worry about leaving and going and running these errands. 
So with that said, a lot of times I end up doing my laundry when I have the RV hooked up. That's easy because laundromats are usually in shopping centers. So you pull in, there's a huge parking lot and my setup only takes up two parking spaces. So I just pull through in a parking space, I park, I put Jasper and Napoleon in here, I leave the fan and windows open and it's easy for me to run in and do some laundry. There are times that I need to do laundry and I am parked in a long-term site. So then I'll just take the truck, throw the laundry in it and go do laundry at the laundromat that way. You will be spending a couple hours at the laundromat so bring something to do. I do usually try to do my laundry during the work day. That way if I drive separately, I can just bring my laptop with me and most laundromats have Wi-Fi. So also if you are on a limited gigabyte Wi-Fi device, then you can use laundromats Wi-Fi for that work or those big downloads while you're doing your laundry. If I have the RV attached, I'll just do work in my RV. So that's how I did laundry today. I ran in, threw all the laundry in the wash, came back to the RV, sat with Jasper and Napoleon, I took a meeting, then I ran back, threw it in the dryer, and then I came back in here. The only thing you have to watch out doing that is if you're not going to stay in the laundromat, keep an eye on what the time is on the machine and make sure you come back right as the machine finishes. So if it says it's gonna take 25 minutes, set an alarm and come back in 25 minutes. The reason I recommend that is in a really busy laundromat, if your machine stops and nobody's there to take anything out, some strangers, and I've had this happen, some strangers will come up, throw your laundry into one of those laundry carts, and then take the washer or the dryer. So if you don't want people touching your stuff, you really want to make sure that you're in there on time to pull it out. Also, it's just polite, especially if there are a lot of people, to make sure that you free up the washer or the dryer and let somebody else use it. So what are some other tips and tricks I've learned along the way? First, Make sure you always have quarters or cash with you. Most will have the machines where you can take a five, 10, $20 bill, put it in the machine and it gives you quarters. Or if you want it to be really convenient when you're at the grocery store, just pick up those rolls of quarters and keep a couple with you at all times. There has only been one laundromat in my three years on the road that accepted credit cards. So they are out there, but they are very rare and hard to find. The next tip is have some easy way to store your laundry. For me, that's this laundry bag. I think it was five or $10 at Walmart and I bought it the first year I was on the road. So it's just a big old sack. I actually throw it over my shoulder and I look like Santa Claus carrying it. But the nice part is this is actually where I store my dirty laundry. So I put my dirty laundry in this, I store it in the bathroom. And then when I go into the laundromat to wash everything, I wash the bag with the laundry. Of course, you take everything, you dump it out. And then I turn the bag inside out and wash it in there. But then the bag is clean, so I end up taking all my clean laundry, throwing it back in the bag, and just dragging it back in the RV, and then I have everything to fold. The next trick is to have small and easy to carry soap. I used to carry the big thing of Tide Pods because they're cheaper. I used to carry fabric softener, those scent drops, all of that stuff. But the thing is, you need to store it somewhere. And in my small RV, it is not easy to store that. So instead now, I just have the small bag of the Tide Pods. This tends to last me a good long time. And it fits right in the caddy or storage bin or whatever you want to call it in the bathroom. And it's really easy to store in there. I also don't have to move it when I shower and it does seal up well. The only warning on using pods is that they will melt. So I have had it where the bathroom gets really hot in the summertime and then these all melt together and you have just one big old glob of soap. So if it gets really hot, just keep an eye on your Tide Pods. Another tip to keep in mind when you're doing your laundry is if you're going to a laundromat or using a public machine, make sure you open both the washer and the dryer and you check the machine. I will even rotate the drum around and make sure there's nothing in there. I've actually had clothes ruined because there was some sort of black material in there. I don't even know what it was. I've heard of other people that have gotten gum on their clothes or there was dye or something in the machine and it ruined everything. So you wanna make sure that you look in there, you inspect it and everything looks good. If you were traveling with animals, Another thing I think about when I do the laundry is how much dog hair is in which items. So I end up washing my duvet cover, the blanket I have on top of the bed, which is meant to catch the dog hair, my towels, all of that kind of stuff 
in its own load. And then I take my personal clothes and I put them in a second load. I do find that the dog hair and everything does come off for the most part, but not all the way. If I wash my clothes in with the duvet cover and the dog blanket, I usually look like a hairy mess. So wash those separate and it really does make a big difference. The final item to consider when you are finding a laundromat is what kind of area it's in, is it safe, and also how is the laundromat itself? So the thing I do is I just go on Google Maps and I search for laundromat near me. Then I look at the reviews and I make sure that it has four stars and above. I also read those reviews and see if there's any concerns about the safety of the location. Now let's get into the fun stuff of laundry. Let's check out the storage of clothes. So in my little RV, I actually carry about three to four weeks worth of clothing and bedding. I have two sets of bedding and then clothing. I actually am able to fit a lot of clothing in here. You'll see I have these motion lights. So I'll put those on so you can see what's in there. But all of my underwear, socks, that kind of thing goes up here. All of my pants, shorts, shirts, sweatshirts, things like that go down here. One thing you'll notice about my closet is it's a lot of dark colors. I do enjoy wearing dark colors, black, things like that. I always have. But the other thing about having a lot of dark similar colors is when you go to do laundry, you don't have to sort it. So I don't have to pull the whites out or the reds or anything like that all of my laundry can go in the washer all together. The other benefit is all of my clothes, except one pair of long johns can go in the dryer, which also makes the laundry easy because then I just can throw it in the dryer and I call it a day. I don't have to worry about sorting, pulling different clothes out. The more simple you can go with having the same color clothes and easy to care for clothes, the easier laundry day will be when you're traveling. Another benefit of having very similar colored clothes like that is it's really easy to get dressed in the morning because I don't have to worry about only using a certain color pant with a certain color shirt and try to match all of that up. I can wear anything in here with any other shirt pair of pants that I own and it'll be completely fine. So that's it. That's how easy it is to do laundry on the road. Once you get used to it, it really isn't that bad. I do remember my first laundromat and it was a little intimidating because I really hadn't used one since college. So I couldn't remember how to get the quarters and do all of that. But if you carry quarters with you, if you look up reviews ahead of time to make sure it's a safe and clean location and you bring something to do so you're not bored while you're sitting there, Laundry day really isn't that bad. That's it from here. I'm gonna go fold this huge bag of laundry and get everything back in this cupboard and make sure it all fits. So if you have any questions on this, feel free to comment below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thanks everybody.